Welcome back to C programming tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is the continuation of um, the previous tutorial uh, about on the while loop. Uh, we were working on it. If you if you haven't watched that tutorial, uh, please uh, I would recommend that you you do so by clicking on the on this link on the screen uh, and also in the description. Um, if you if you are watching this video on Facebook, make sure you become a fan of this page. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please uh, um, um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. So let's continue. Um, so we were learning about a uh, while statement, and let's le and we did this ex little example here, which basically all it did was it decrement the value of x all the way until it became two, and then it exited out of the loop. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, particular example, but just just to show you that you know what uh, how, how to how how to use the while statement, uh, but it's not too practical. So let's do some some other example here. This is the syntax of while statement. Let me put it in comments so that it does not so that we can refer to it, but it does not um, confuse the the compiler because otherwise compiler is going to start giving errors because this is not uh, this is not a valid statement it's just showing the syntax of while uh, loop so let's see let's take an example you have to you know the, we'll just do the same thing uh, again uh, let me start my timer here um, so let's do the same thing again um, let's see let, let's do the let's let's write the, the some message say 10 times suppose our our job is to write a program which will write some message uh 10 times so how are we going to do that so pretty well, let, let's do that so obviously one way of doing it as i said before is to basically use printf and you know i don't know uh, that message would be this is the information age okay and we can write this you know at 10 times but that's that's not 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 a really cool way of doing it suppose what what if user let's let's do it this way L let's see let's see that the user actually enters the value that how many times it wants this message to be printed how many times it wants this message this is the information age to be printed so first thing we will have to do as we have learned before is to input the value for for from the user let's uh, let's uh, call it the variable count so we'll declare a variable count where we will store the value that user enters so what what are we going to do we are going to use scanf to basically get the value which is a number so we'll say <coughs> percent d backslash count like this so this will basically get uh, this will get a value from the user now before we start getting the value let's write a simple message so the user knows uh what what we are asking for so how many times question mark so that way the user will basically know that we are basically asking it to enter the count and then what we, do we have to do we have to print this message and this message needs to be printed how many times as many times as there is count so suppose the user enters 10 so we have to print this message like 10 times so what do we have to do we have to loop we have to do something repeatedly print this message again and again whenever you have to do something repeatedly you put it in a in a loop and the loop that we have learned so far is the while loop okay so we'll use that while loop so one thing is for sure that there will be a while because because we have to do something repeatedly and then whatever we have to do repeatedly which in this case is to print this message we have to put it in the in the body of the while loop in the braces for example here so so we put this in the braces so this is what we need to do how many times 10 times or whatever the the number of times that the user has entered so what do we do we have to do something here to basically say the condition which remains which we which should remain true for as long as we have to print this so 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 we will print this message for when this condition is true so what do we do we basically have to come up with the condition what would be the condition so we have to basically run this loop for as long as it is run less than 10 less than 10 times if the user has entered 10 times or less than the count that the user has entered okay 
but what would be the less than 10 what should be less than 10 so we need looks like we need some other variable you know some other variable which would be the loop counter okay so we will call it loop counter which will count how many times the loop has executed in other words how many times we have already printed this message so we will call it loop counter and we will initialize it to some value say zero because you know right now when you get here when the program is going to get here it will start the program will execute one line at a time and when program gets here it hasn't printed any of any time any uh, not even a single time this message right so we are going to say loop counter is zero and then in this condition we will say that you keep on printing for as long as loop counter is less than count in other words for as long as you have printed the number of times that you have printed is less than the number of times that user wants you to print so this will be our condition right here and one very critical thing that I told you in the in the last pre tutorial, when you know where, when I was uh, def defining uh, you know teaching this while statement here, that the one of at least one of these statements have to modify this condition. And look at this, look at this here. In this body right now, there is no change being made anywhere to this condition. In other words, neither the loop counter variable is changing nor count is changing. So what do we have to do? Do we have to change the the count here or the loop counter here? Yes, we have to change the loop counter here because loop counter is supposed to count the number of times this has looped. You know, the number of time we have run the body of the loop. So every time when we run the body of the loop, we have to increment the value of loop counter by 1. Would this do it? Well, this will increment the value of loop counter, but we have to change, store this result. You know, if the value of loop counter is 1, we have to change it to 1 plus 1, which is 2. We have to change it to 2. So, in other words, we have to basically, we have to write loop counter is equal to loop counter plus 1. In other words, we have to add 1 to the loop counter and then assign it back to loop counter here. So, that the value of loop counter changes. A quick way of doing it in C is basically use the plus plus operator the plus plus operator is the same as what I've done here so loop counter plus plus does the same as loop counter equal to loop counter plus one but it's just that it's smaller shorter you know and elegant so let's use that loop counter plus plus you could always use loop counter equal to loop counter plus one also but let's use loop counter plus plus so what it's gonna do is it's, it's gonna say okay I already printed this once the next time when it's going to go through it, it will say, okay, I already printed it twice, then thrice, four times, five times, until the loop counter becomes the same as the count. So, do we have to execute it, execute this loop even when it is equal to count? You know, suppose count is one, which means the user wants it to be printed one, okay? So, we come here, loop counter value is zero from the beginning, and then zero is less than one because count value of count is one zero is less than one then print f we print this thing and then loop counter value becomes one then one is less than one you know we already printed it once that's what user wants want, wa wanted us to print and then loop counter value is become one and one is less than one is false so it exits out of the loop so we are done so count was one we printed it once and we are done so it works so let's see if it works or not how many times five look at this this is the information age this is the information age and so on so what happened we entered the value of count as five count become became five loop counter was zero we printed it incremented loop counter by one it became one then we printed it we checked the condition one is less than five it is true yes one is less than five and then we print this again and so on until finally the value of loop counter becomes five and then we say 5 is less than 5, it is false, we exit out of the loop and the program ends. So we print, end up in printing this message 5 times. Thank you for watching, please be sure that you subscribe to this channel and rate this video 5 stars. Thank you so much.